Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how you can use flipgrid.com to on how you can assess uh, the understanding or evaluate the understanding of your students in a particular subject, uh, in a particular topic in your subject. So again, um, all you need to do is first, as a teacher, you have to create an account, okay, an educator account in flipgrid.com. So in the address bar, you click, uh, you type flipgrid.com. And here in flipgrid.com, you will be asked to create an educator account. So for my case, I've already created um, Flipgrid, educator Flipgrid account. So basically, if you're going to click educator sign up, you will be asked which uh, account uh, you will use. Are you going to use your Microsoft or, or Google? So uh, as simple as that. And then uh, you will be asked about your uh, information, your name, your country, your... Uh, your the section or the grade level that you are handling and then your birthday and then you just click and then after that you have your uh, educators account so at this moment i'm in my flipgrid account as an educator so you have different parts here you have discussion discovery activity mixtapes short every pulse so mostly you will be using the discussion part of flipgrid.com so in if you're going to click this just in case so i'm here already in the discussion part you can actually create okay discussion okay and how will you do that by creating a topic now we have two parts here we have topics and we have groups okay now the importance of uh, of groups is that if you're handling a lot of students okay or if you want to create a flipgrid group for a particular section that would be better because uh, every time you will be asked a certain topic you're just going to click this at this moment i have my group here which is science 10 steodl1 and if i want to create a topic under this group i'll just click it okay i'll, I'll just click it and then uh, add a topic okay as simple as that okay but uh, let's start first with the basic part, okay? In how on how to post a discussion in Flipgrid.com. So first is you go to topics, okay? So let's say for example in topics here, and then you click add the topic, okay? Click add a topic, and here you will be asked about the title of your topic, and you're given only thirty-five letters so your title must have 35 letters so let's say for example uh, my question would be introduce yourself okay and then um, let's have more detail, uh, detail uh, instruction so let's have tell me how should tell me probably how to pronounce your name how to pronounce your name and what is your oh, what is your uh what do you like about science what do you like about science and then here you can have the option how long will they record uh, their video their response because in flipgrid.com um, the students will record uh, their answer okay and you can uh, you have the option as a teacher you have the option on how long they can record uh, their video so let's say for example i'll give them 45 seconds within 45 seconds they have to tell their name or they can even indicate their section and then of course tell about about science or what do they like about science so okay okay so you don't need to um, uh, uh, choose or anything of, of here and then I'm going to uh, consider it as a private uh, for public the dangerous is that as long as they have the link of your of your flipgrid uh, then they can access or they can contribute in the discussion so for me i'm going to make it as private so that only my students in that section can join the discussion part so i'm going to use their email you can even use their uh, name if you want but for me it's very uh, it's very easy for me to access their or to use their email so i'm going to choose student email and then here for the do domains uh, email domains um, since they are not not most of my students are not depth.com that page user i'm going to remove that i'm going to put gmail.com uh, as the email domain so if everything is okay uh, i'm going to leave this closed because i don't want other guests to join the discussion i'm going to click 
create topic so it will be process okay now uh, I don't share immediately my topic because you can copy this and paste it to uh, Google Classroom or you can share the QR code as it is okay for this time what I'm going to do is um, for me it's very uh, for me it's very convenient to download the QR code okay the picture of the QR code uh, because so that uh, most of my students will be using their phone because there is an app there is a fully print app that, that they can download and install in their smartphone so most of my students will be using their phone so it's better to share the QR code okay or the code this is the actually the code of the discussion okay in Google Classroom okay so uh, for me okay that's my option uh, that's those are my two options so that they can access the discussion the code pasting this code in the Google Classroom together with the picture of the QR code okay so that they can have uh, those options so uh, not okay I'm going to copy it leave it that way copy it or maybe later so I'm going to click all set for the meantime because I, I need to uh, put more features in my uh, created topic so this is my introduce yourself tell me how the proper way tell me the uh, tell me how oh, sorry sorry let me just edit it sorry tell me how the, tell me the proper way sorry tell me the proper way on way on how so, to pronounce your name name so that may, name okay update and so I could also add some uh, media here if I want to okay if you're going to click that uh, which one I'm going to choose this one here and right now I cannot add a media of my of me recording myself because that's actually the good thing about flipgrid.com you can record yourself and you can start the discussion uh, are you sure you want to exit yes confirm because uh, I'm not going to do that because my laptop's camera is not working at this moment so that's why I'm not going to add that media so maybe I could click update the topic because I did some changes so again if you want to put a video here you may if you want to okay just click that part so if everything is set okay what I'm going to do is click share and then as what I've said I'm going to download the QR code download the QR code I'm going to save it in my in my uh, in my computer in my laptop and then I'm going to copy this because okay, I, I will give two options for my students on how they can join the discussion I'll go to my Google Classroom I'm going to open my uh, Google Classroom create um, I'm going to give this as their assignment okay please and okay so I'm going to paste the flipgrid code here just or use the flipgrid so I'm going to add an attachment here. I'm going to uh, click Google Drive and then upload and then browse because I'm going to upload the uh, the QR code of my uh, downloads. I'm going to look for the QR code here. Okay, I think I'm going to share it here. Okay, open. The QR code this can here so you can choose how to share this file with your class you got it okay student can okay can view the file because they, they just need the, their smartphone to scan the uh, QR code so they have two options they can join by uh, you may scan scan the QR code or use the flip code so I'm going to assign this to my students and I'm going to leave it ungraded because they don't it doesn't need a grade and then the due date would be up to let's say for example up to uh, 
September 25. And then I'm going to put it here in the pre orientation. Everything is signed in. I'm going to click sign in here, uh, signing here. And that's it. Your students can go to go to Google Classroom to your to their Google Classroom, and they can uh, look for classwork, and then. They